Today is uh, Saturday, July 29. This is the last day that Hoi's Chinese restaurant is gonna be open. So I'm gonna go in there and have a last meal. They've been around since uh, at least 40 years. I can't remember the first time I was here, maybe at least 30 years ago. So they've been open for 40 years. I know I came here in the 1990s for sure. Ooh, look at that, look at that. This is my favorite way to eat wonton noodle soup with the uh, tripe and the, the guts. So you have also some beef brisket here. You have the tripe. Thank you. And you have uh, nice noodles. Look at those noodles. Look at that, look at that. Oh, look at that tripe. It's got honeycomb tripe. So I like the innards. So a lot of times, People order assorted meat, but you get the uh, the guts and the gory. Mm. The big chunks of beef brisket. With that delicious soup. Uh, I swear this is one of the best soups I ever had. For wonton noodles. When you find the wonton, it's like finding the treasure of the soup. Look at that, look at that. So this is the treasure of the soup. So the huge wonton with the uh, pork and the prawns infuse the soup. That looks really good, uh, lemon chicken. Can I order a lemon chicken? Can I order on my order? Look at that, look at that. This is special chow mein. It's one of my favorites of all time. So here, on this order, you get some nice toppings. You get the uh, prawns. Get some nice prawns here. You get, nice, you get some nice toppings here. You get the nice prawns. You get some uh, squid. Big pieces of squid right here. And you get barbecue pork. You got uh, the baby corn. That's a good sign. Usually uh, they don't include baby corn nowadays for most restaurants, but they have the baby corn. Got nicely decorated carrots. You got some uh, Shanghai bok choy right here. Look at that. Shanghai bok choy. The uh, baby corn. A lot of restaurants nowadays don't have baby corn in the dishes anymore. But Boy's Wonton House still does, right to the last day. So you see the uh, crispy noodles. Can you see the crispy noodles here? So when they become infused like the sauce from the stir fry, that's why this is one of the best special chow mein's I've ever had. Ooh, look at that. Crispy noodles infused with the sauce from the stir fry. We ran out of lemon chicken. I really wanted some, but um, I'm gonna have sweet and sour pork. That's also one of my favorites. So this is the, look at that, look at that. This is the sweet and sour pork with the uh, green peppers and onions in a tangy sweet and sour sauce. Ah, look at that, look at that. This is the sweet and sour pork. Always one of my favorites. I usually eat it with uh, steamed rice or fried rice, mostly steamed rice. But today, I'm already eating the special chow mein and the uh, wonton noodles with the assorted meats. So I'm gonna be too full. Mm. So they make it old style. So the flavor is a little bit different from what you get in the modern Hong Kong restaurants. So they make it old style. I tasted it already. So you can see the uh, the uh, pork has been cut into bite-sized pieces. Then it's breaded and deep fried. And then they stir fry it in a, their special tangy sweet and sour sauce. So the inflationary policies of the Liberal government has resulted in increased uh, interest rates for mortgages. So I imagine the property which this restaurant sits on, the uh, mortgage rates have gone up. So the uh, interest rate increase is passed on to the uh, small business operator like this restaurant. I heard the uh, owners actually sold the property three times in the last few years. So they increased the rent and the uh, restaurant operators, uh, they uh, decided to close down. So today is the last day. The Liberal Party free spending 
of Justin Trudeau's government is going to increase the inflation. It's not going to come down anytime soon. It's going to take another spike and then we'll be in trouble. The debt that the Liberal government is piling on will be felt by Canadians for many, many years. Today, I'm doing my version of special chow mein. Compared to a Chinese restaurant, you get twice the toppings, twice the veggies, and three times the noodles. To start, bring a pot of water to a boil. Here I have two pounds or 908 grams of fresh chow mein noodles. You can also use the dry packaged noodles if you like. For these noodles, you only need to boil them for one to two minutes. Give these noodles a quick rinse under cold water to stop the cooking and also to get rid of some of the starches. Preheat a pan at medium to high heat and add five to six tablespoons of cooking oil. I like to use peanut oil. Cook the noodles to the amount of crispiness that you like. Add more cooking oil as required. For this amount of noodles, I like to use two frying pans. I like to serve these noodles in one big tray for nicer presentation. For this recipe, we're using a Chinese vegetable called bok choy. So just first cut off the bottom of the bok choy. The stalks can be easily pulled apart or you can cut it in half lengthwise. This bok choy vegetable only takes 30 to 60 seconds to cook. I like to add one or two tablespoons of cooking oil, such as peanut oil, just to shine up the uh, veggies. After you finish arranging the veggies around the noodles, you're ready for the next step. Preheat a wok or a pan at medium to medium high heat. Add three tablespoons of cooking oil. Here I'm using peanut oil. So now you add four to six ounces of sliced chicken. And at this time, turn on the heat to high. And then add the whole tiger prawn. The tiger prawn cooks very quickly. So let it sear for a few seconds. and then give the ingredients a quick stir-fry. I soak some whole Chinese mushrooms for at least one hour. So do that beforehand and just add the whole mushroom to the wok. At this time you can add other ingredients. Here I have some sliced onions. Add some salt if you like. Here I'm adding half a teaspoon of sea salt. Now add two to three tablespoons of light soy sauce, also known as regular soy sauce.
To make the sauce, add three quarter to one cup of chicken broth or use water if you don't have it. Bring the sauce to a boil and then add a solution of one tablespoon of cornstarch and a third of a cup of water. Depending on how thick the sauce you like, you may need to add more or less of the cornstarch solution. There you have it, my version of special chow mein. Enjoy. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Thanks for checking out my video and please give me a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of my other videos on this channel. And please subscribe. If you get a chance, check out my other channel, the award-winning Chinese Cooking Channel.